for Papa Panda, and I couldn't. But I didn't try super hard, you know? A rhyme? Yeah, you know, like, the menace from Venice or something? Oh, okay. But I couldn't think of anything from Taiwan, so... Spawning in the bottom left, playing for Platinum Heroes, it is Papa Panda. And spawning in the top right, playing for Risen from the Ashes, the Red Zerg, 11. Okay, now know. we're going to find your camera. That's 11's camera. Are you oh, on you 11's weren't... thing? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm watching 11's base. Okay, we're on um, your camera real quick. I'm just going to spam the discords because everyone loves when I do that. Okay. Um, no one has gone pool first. Looks like they're both going to go for some uh, economic gameplay on the first round, which I wasn't expecting. You know, 11, pretty aggressive guy. Thought maybe he'd come right out of the gate with a cheeky Zerg rush. Uh, but we'll see where they go from here. Yeah, they're both relatively aggressive players, I, I believe. Like, Papa Panda is yeah. literally the only person that's ever queen dropped me before. So, like, he's <laughs> pretty pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive. Yeah, queen dropping is uh, pretty aggressive. Um. Oh yeah, pretty. Uh, I don't know. What do you think about the? What do you think about the map? Hardwire, weird choice for the first match, or? Uh, well, I guess I have to like become my persona, my character of man who doesn't know anything about Zerg vs Zerg, because like yeah. you know how in real life I know everything about StarCraft, uh, and That's all matchups. So I'm just pretending not to know. Yes. But honestly, I don't. Oh, okay, wait, I've taken control back, uh, just to let you know, so you don't have to deserve anymore. That's that's good, because I haven't really been... <laughs> I probably haven't been keeping on top of it. Well, I don't really know if there's that much to see at the there's, beginning of the No, uh, like, Econ Zerg, there's nothing to watch. It's like, oh, the pool is finished now for 11, that's nice. Papa Panda's and drones Papa Panda's is a couple seconds behind. Yeah, like, exactly. They're slightly behind, and it could also be because of the lag, you know, playing a time yeah. from Taiwan and everything. But Papa yeah. Panda has already deviated by dropping a spine, while Eleven is getting four links instead. Papa Panda, I mean, I guess both of these guys are pretty creative, but Papa mm -hmm. Panda, I find, as a very creative player. So perhaps he's going to skip links and get, like, well, the spine crawler as defense? Papa Panda is the super villain of the DLC, you know? Yeah. It's like the Lex, Lex Luthor of the DLC, pitting the other players against each other. But and, uh, Keeping it as toxic as possible while standing at a distance. I think Papa, or I mean, I think Lex Luthor. Like, cause look at this. Papa Pen is already getting a super weird wall, like, uh, Baneling Nest. Eleven sees it. I don't know what you think if you're eleven. You know, like, of what is this yeah. even? I guess maybe you think that this is some sort of two base attack because Eleven's third base has gone down, and Papa Panda. I mean, his so it, Baneling Nest isn't really even that much faster than Eleven. So the only. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> His different. speed is gonna finish first as well. So I think, like, despite both players opening with what I think is a pretty greedy third base when playing against Zerg, um, you know, he's he's probably gonna hit first, and we'll see if there are banelings, uh, baneling nest for eleven as well. Who was it last week? It might have been eleven himself who said, "You never skip the bane nest in uh, Zerg vs Zerg, right?" Yes, that was that was eleven, it's... and it's kind of stuck with me because that's one of the things that I, you know, one of the only that's things the... I know about this matchup is that you never uh, skip your... the bane list, bane list. <laughs> Your persona knows. That's one of the only yeah, things your persona knows about about oh. uh, Zerg vs Zerg. Eleven making this chat oh, bane cocoon in front of in front of Papa Panda's <laughs> third base, and there's a little bit of a skirmish in the. Middle of the map, 11, chasing down, making... I don't know, we're getting bailing wars. This is kind of what we were seeing... How, how was it? I so wrong about the timing of... Uh, the speeds? Speed. Well, or was Bob I not Pandas wrong? Finished. No, I don't think you were wrong. 11's getting plus one, like... Oh, no, uh, oh, no sorry, yeah. Papa Panda is getting plus one missile attack. Uh, that was a pretty good detonation from 11. Uh, more really good detonations. I think the ping is kind of killing Papa Panda here, unfortunately, because 11 is just kind of ling flooding him. Papa Panda does yeah. have this kind of pseudo wall thing, so I think 11's really only going to be able to take over the third base, and then probably that's it. Uh, defensive banelings morphing in uh, Papa Panda's base as well. 
only one Evo chamber right now. It doesn't look like he's going to be pivoting the roaches, so maybe... Oh, oh that's going to be a huge hit. Oh my god, that was gigantic. Uh, Papa Pan is losing too many, too many lings to the Bane Link connections. Get and I, I think it's, it's going to scale, you know, like... Uh... Okay, so 11 running by. He's not really going to find any damage there. Eleven's going to finally take out this third base like I thought he was going to. That was a pretty big Bane Link detonation there for Papa Panda, and then a pretty big one for Eleven. Oh, man. Uh, Dude, Papa Panda would love to get that with the that. Yeah, so that, that's nice. excellent for Papa Panda. Oh, well, other than he had to, lose, uh, had to lose the base first. Shuf... Sh Sh Shavarit? Thanks for the follow. I totally said that wrong. I'm sorry. I can't read as well as I can't set streams up, so I'm just kind of not very good at a lot of stuff. Okay, so Pan is now flooding across with his own lings. Oh, wow. We have a lot of viewers all of a sudden. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We appreciate you. Oh, we also have a two-minute delay, so they don't know I'm talking to them right now. Good That's times. all right. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll catch you in two minutes, I guess. Yeah. Um, still no more tech for... Either player, you know, um, not even a not even a layer morphing right now for eleven. Does no uh, no layer for Papa Panda either. Yeah, eleven's getting Roach Warren. Papa Panda is just trying to get his hatchery back. I think, yeah. like, I mean, again, man who doesn't know anything about Zerg vs Zerg, but I'm pretty sure that this is just a overall better position for eleven. He's, uh, yeah, like, I mean, he's so definitely ahead. Drones. But Papa Panda has faster roaches. Not not that much faster, though. And they're not, well, like, speed roaches or anything. No, but, you know, pretty strong against um, Zerglings and Banelings. So, as long as they, you know, posture up well at home, maybe he'll he's still in this. Lost that third again. I guess he cancelled it. Yeah, he did cancel it. I got it on stream yeah. this time. That was a cancel. Eleven nice. just flooding across with oh, never mind. I, they're slow they're slow roaches and slow banes. I don't know if you can call that a flood necessarily, but uh, it's a trickle. Yeah, he's trickling across and he's got so many banelings now with to Papa Panda's roaches. I don't think Levin knew about these roaches because I don't think Banelings do that. Like, he's not going to get, like, the juicy connects that he was getting earlier on roaches. Roaches being armored and everything, or at least I think they're armored. So now we have slow roaches chasing slow roach and bane. Riveting. Both of them okay. building a bunch of, or I guess, 11 a little supply box. Wow, he just built... A I, I think I saw this correctly. He just built three overlords and then is building another two. So he built five overlords. And Eleven nice. doing a little sneaky with these Banelings. You know, he queued them up. And now they're going towards Papa Panda's third base, which Eleven knows about because he's got an overlord over it. Yeah. Oh, um, thanks. Slip says my voice is cool. Thanks, man. I don't. I think you're talking about Matt's voice because my voice is very not cool. <laughs> Uh, no, your voice is the cool one for sure. Oh shit! I just hit. I got. Well, how did that, that was, happen? I, I mean, you were watching a... the stream, but I was following the bane links, and then suddenly I pressed a button, and it just zoomed in on a cleaning bot. So we missed that bane connection. So well, sorry. Well, because everybody. you had because you had a camera hot key on all the cleaning bots on the map, right? Yeah, that's what I do. I said I was spamming Discord. Uh, yeah, spamming Discord, but I actually just look for all the cleaning bots, and then I hot key all of them because I love the cleaning bots. I actually hate um, critters. Like I don't know if I don't know anyone who loves critters, but I hate the critters so much. This is a huge attack coming from Eleven, uh, designed to finish when Roach Speed finishes as well. And, those. Sorry. Oh no! It might just be the skin. I was gonna ask if Eleven's roaches already had some upgrade, but I think the answer is no. I don't think there is an upgrade they can get before. Uh... Glial reconstitution, like the movements. I think you can it? get the like tunneling claws or whatever it's called. I don't know if you'd want to. That looked like a bit of a move command, but I think Eleven should be able to take this fight. I'm pretty sure you need Lair for Burrow. Oh yeah, I don't know. I have oh, no does idea. he have a Lair? Oh, he does have a Lair. Yeah. So Papa Panda is gonna win this fight. Eleven's got a bunch of like units coming across. 
so even though Papa Panda has the defender's advantage, it's going to be pretty hard for him to hold just because of 11, 11, 11's economy and oh. uh, <laughs> production is so much better. Are we going to start calling him Eleven now? Eleven. Eleven? No, Eleven, yeah. Eleven, yeah, I'm fine with that. Man, that's a third... That's a third third base to get dis like destroyed or cancelled by Papa Panda. He's just not getting lucky this game and being able to hold third bases. I think this might also be an overextension. This is a really nice concave from 11. It's an excellent looking concave. Um, Dodging that bile as well. I Beautiful. Moving on to game number 2. 11 takes game number 1. Good game from both players. Oh man, losing losing the same base that many times would tilt me. I, I but you know, Papa Panda is a much more level-headed individual. Yeah, Papa Panda is cool like a cucumber. Also, Papa sure. Panda has so much APM. Holy crap, three hundred and seventy-two. That's a that's a real Zerg gamer. Do I have to say that I'm ready again? I don't. Yes, I guess. All right. I don't know. I mean, it just makes things easier, I suppose. Sure, I'm ready. So, thoughts from uh, thoughts from game one, Jeff? Well, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, oh. Rice check. Well, he was tearing there for a second, and I don't, you know, it happens. It happens. <laughs> I don't know why it really wants Eleven to be tearing when he joins into these things, but... Okay, so basically Zerg versus Zerg, at, if you you know if people are doing the when we cast a matchup that doesn't include Terran Bingo, it's a it's a knife fight in a phone booth, as Pig said, and it is it's just super aggressive. Like these these both of these players got that third base faster than what we'd seen in previous like series that we casted. Remember when we casted eleven versus Diablo? Was it Diablo? Uh, yeah, and um, but I mean. Oh wait, Sorry, Papa can... Panda drone going across the map. Sorry, but you, you. Oh wait, we didn't do the things right. Spawning in the bottom left, currently down 0-1. It's the people's champion, Papa Panda. And spawning in the top right, <laughs> the Red Zerg, the other people's champion, at uh, 11. I love it. Uh, uh, E11. E11. Sorry. Is, is new moniker. So what's Papa Panda doing with this drone? Do you think? I actually I thought it was gonna be like a oh he's he's can't uh, he's blocking he's hatch blocking and he's getting a oh, yeah. hatch of his own. This is kind of like a thing that Protoss like that Protoss players do against Zerg. I've never really seen it in Zerg versus Zerg. And then Eleven pulled a sneaky and pulled a second drone down to be able to get that hatch, like not exactly on time, but so that he can still be in the desired position. Oh yeah, it's kinda, it's, it's pretty close on timing with Papa Pandas. Um, so, you know, I think it was a disruptive little thing, maybe something to get in the head of his opponent, but not going to pay off huge. Right. And Papa Panda went gas before pool, so his speed should be faster. Yep. And then he, he's got a mouthful of minerals. Oh, he's blocking the gas too. Papa Panda, the maddest <laughs> of lads. Like, this is what he does. He just throws you off your game. It's so, I mean, like, I haven't actually played one of these diamond tournaments in forever. I guess I haven't been eligible to play in them forever. But it's like Papa Panda, when I used to play against him, he was my, my like the bane of my existence, you know? Yep. And it was always because he had such an interesting way of throwing you off of your, your game or doing something weird you'd never seen before. And now 11, I don't know if this is on purpose, but to make up for the in like in, in, inferior, there we go, I figured out the word, inferior mining, he's got a fourth guy on gas. Yeah, I don't know if that works with the gas. I don't know either. I know with minerals it does work to a certain point because yep. allegedly Alpha Star taught us that. Mm -hmm. You can you can overmine, but it's suboptimal, right? But right. with gas, I I don't know if you can because only one unit can be in the extractor at a time. I guess that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. who knows? Someone knows. Yes. If anyone knows, it's these guys. Absolutely. And we have another, so we have a couple of first time chatters. Jan Pool, thanks for the follow before the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The the stream started. Neo Shaggy, thank you for the follow. We appreciate it very much. Uh, we appreciate all of everybody's support. We really enjoy just kind of bringing you the games. 
So, Maddie, while this is kind of heating up, how's your day been? Uh, it's been a pretty good day so far. I had to run into work for a bit. Oh, yeah, uh, did you? Yeah, then, did you get uh, into the old chemistry mill? Yep. Uh, yeah, chemistry mill was on fire, as you can imagine. It usually is. Did I call and it the then, wrong thing uh, again? Oh, I did. I did call it the wrong thing again. The stream title is wrong again. I'd like to pretend it was a meme, but I literally just did that by accident. <laughs> what? What's wrong with it? It's the DCL, but it should be the DLC. Oh, yeah. I forgot you did that last time. Yeah. That's funny. I don't know why they ask us to cast their things. Like, we're so bad at this. <laughs> Uh, it must be because you have such an awesome voice, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's pitch... Oh, oh, wait, big big connections? No, not this time. But Papa Pan has got to be so careful because those big connections really got him behind. Okay, that was pretty big. Was quite a few. Uh, but the follow-up here... Oh, no, actually, I think Papa Pan has got to be really careful here. I think he's going to trade all these links out. Just try to trade them as, be as best as possible. And I think that was better for 11. Man, I can't believe this evolution chamber is still here. Like, it just takes so long to kill that as a... Like, with just the queen. The queen's DPS just yeah. is Garbo, I guess. Uh, yeah, queens are, you know, against structures, pro pretty bad. I'm really oh, curious those of... Things oh, yeah, the broodlings are going to... Oh, so the broodlings wow. just killed two drones. That was what I was really curious about there. Uh, got to see it. Pop still has no fourth base. He has a beginnings of a wall, but it's not a wall. He, so he's gonna he's he's desperately trying to wall right now with Roach Warrens and stuff. Roach Warren Evo Chamber. Uh, if he, I don't know if Papa Pen is gonna be able to hold this really, to be honest. Yeah, we're gonna see. It's gonna just be the queens from downtown. And as we just established, the queens. Well. They're not, oh, no, actually, they're hey, this is actually against working. units. They're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of thought that Eleven was gonna use the Bane Links on the structures. Uh, okay, no cancel there. Now that now the Bane Links are gonna run in and they're gonna connect with the drones. They're going for drones, so that is gonna be a huge connection. That's six drones down, and the Links all died somehow. I don't know how the Links died in the uh, in the main. Uh, I think they were maybe picked up by the spine. Oh, is there a spine in the main? Some of them. Oh, in the main, sorry. On the way up the ramp, though? Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Well, whatever. Yeah, Bob Pan is pretty died. supply blocked here. Dead is dead, as they say. Yeah, exactly. They died, and I like Eleven's position better. Hot takes. I know. Hot takes here. Oh, hot take, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hot take. The guy with the third base and like almost double the drones, I like yeah. his position better. What do you mean? Bob <laughs> Pan is clearly in the superior position. Uh, a wizard did it. A wizard did it, yeah. Bob Panda has two roaches and oh, but eleven only has four roaches, so I guess they're kind of both taking this opportunity to drone here. I think eleven feels pretty good about his position. He's getting the spine crawlers at the oh, he's getting two at the main and two at the third base, which I find kind of weird because you think that he'd get two like if he was gonna do this, he'd get two at the third base and two at the natural because the units have to run by this wall. So if the spines were behind the wall, like this isn't really a matchup where you expect drops. Now against Papa Panda, I think that you can expect drops, but I find well, this kind of weird. We'll see. He's already building up his queen count, you know? Oh, uh, mute, He's got uh, four Spire. hanging up. Spire from Papa Panda in the, uh, in the back. This yeah. is going to be a little challenging, I would say, for Pop or for 11 to break into. It's a uh, quite a well defended front on the on the side of Papa Panda. We'll see if there are any no spores yet. Spines no spores, so mutalisks could do quite a bit of damage if they make it into the main. Yeah, it's like a comeback mechanic. Uh, I think Eleven's just gonna try and brute force his way through here. He's got sixteen roaches. And 16, I, 16 is a lot. 16 is a lot um, of roaches, but spines do do a fair amount of damage here. Not, not against roaches, them. it's like, you know, there's only yeah. one of them hitting him outside the base right now. So the roach horn just died, but Papa Panda is, I guess, not trying, like, that's his secret ingredient, is that he's not trying to make any more uh, roaches, because he's just going to go right into mutas. Uh, Cancelling that one Ravager, pretty solid. He's got to be careful not to get too... Like, okay, all right, Pop Pan's got to be careful. He's got to pull these back. Nice transfuse there, keeping stuff alive. Eleven's taking a fourth base here, so he's going to be doubling. The supplies are just huge. 
Papa Pan is gonna have to really take him off guard right, with these mutas, and I don't even think you'd want to, like I think you'd want to send the mutas right across the map, specifically to try and get as much damage done as possible. Does eleven? Oh, but eleven has spores. No, he's got a spore in the main, and that's it. I've always kind of wondered about building spores in the main. It's what mines out the fastest, so if like you're looking to protect your workers, how effective is that? You know? Like, won't you um, have the fewest workers there eventually? Yeah, I guess. But like, I when I... Okay, so actually the mutas are cleaning up the Ravages a lot faster than I thought they were going to. So that's, uh, you know, good for Papa Panda. Uh, Eleven's supply is actually plummeting here. But, so like, specifically when I know my opponent's gonna go mutas, I like to get one, spo uh, one missile turret and all the mineral lines. Uh, because yeah. normally I'm just floating that much money that doesn't matter. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm oh, hey, just Papa Panda has one Bane cash. Lane. Yeah, but Papa Panda has one Bane lane across the map just waddling home. I kind of... Oh, I see him. Yeah, just the... <laughs> and now, Eleven's going to try and pull back all of his overlords, but he's going to lose a fair amount of them, get relatively supply blocked for a while, yeah. and he's got to now start dealing with these mutas. So he's getting into a, a Hydralisk den... And Papa Panda might be able to close the worker gap a little bit. Uh, Levin's got a fair amount of queens, though. No cancel on that spore there. Papa Panda's jumping on the lowest of energy queens, but all of the other queens just kind of left her, so it doesn't really matter. Levin's still supply block, building four overlords at a time. And Papa Panda's finally safe to take his third base. Let's see if it stays up for longer than... I don't know, a minute? Like, I think that was the record of last game. Record to beat. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Eleven's gone ham. Look at the third base. He's got three spores, two spines. He's also got, like, seven queens right now trying to pick off the, uh, the Mutalisk. Yeah, Mutalisk can be Do so annoying. Doing a little bit of work. Yeah, they're pretty squishy, though, you know. Yes, they absolutely are. In no way are they, like, a Protoss unit. And by that, I mean imbalanced. Got them roasted. But, uh... Save it for the Discord, Jeff. Yeah, I know. People haven't been using the Balanced Wine Discord recently. And then... Because you... Well, I mean, it's, I, don't, it's, I, I was just going to say, you just do it in stream now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And I don't, uh... I don't really engage in it, because I honestly don't care. But... I do find... Personally, I find, uh... Like, Protoss... Protoss air with disruptors pretty hard to engage into. I've been struggling with that on that uh, against that on the ladder recently. Disruptors, uh, pretty disruptive, you know. Yeah, as the you, name might imply. I think you just have to be better at micro, which is definitely not my strong suit because of my old man hands with wooden splinters in them, you know. So, and your small fingers. <laughs> I do have small fingers. That's true, but that's that. That's why my macro is bad. You know, I can't hit all the buttons very well. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have the excuses. Like you got to be ready for it. You know, you got the excuses already lined up. Uh, you know, if you're playing like, let's say, you're playing baseball or something, you got to make sure there's a dog around so you can blame it on the dog barking or say the sun was in your eyes if you miss the ball. You know, you just, just got to be got to be ready for these, Maddie. I've just I've never been bad at anything, so I've never had to try and find something to blame. That's true. You are Mr. Sportsball himself. That's true. Or I guess you're Mr. Sportsball's son. No, I'm Dr. Sportsball. Dr. Mr. Sportsball. <laughs> that sounds like I'm married to Mr. <laughs> Sportsball. <laughs> Is it Lauren's not Mr. Sportsball? Uh, no, not as far as I know. I mean, she's she's a hockey player, isn't she? She skates yeah. around. She does. She skates. She shoots. She scores. So I, I went skating yesterday with the the local school district, you know? And I found out that I was still pretty good against Belgian teenagers. You, I mean, some teenagers are, are pretty good at hockey, so I'm a little surprised you found it pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. Uh, you, yeah, but you're pretty bad. You still had fun. <laughs> oh, oh, Matt. <laughs> you got me. Got I him. Never, I was never as good as you were. Oh, hey, Papa Panda's actually surpassed 11 now, but 11 has a more tech... Like, or at least an army that I think is better because he's got the lurkers, which are the mobile siege tanks. You know, like. But I will drop point attention to the upgrades. Papa Panda has the most OP upgrade, Burrow. 
That's true, and Papa Panda knows that you love it. But okay, so this is the problem that I have with my mech armies: is that like the lurker just runs up and burrows right beside your army, and then your whole army dies, which is literally what just happened there. And I think Papa Panda also accidentally um, biled his own mutas. I'm not exactly sure if that happened or if the mutas just kind of got shredded by the hydralisk. Also, definitely a possibility. But now looks like Papa Panda's on a bit more of a scarier position. Sure. Those uh, those lurkers looking pretty scary. Only gonna get scarier as the upgrades come through, you know. Yes, exactly. And I don't, I'm not sure which each one does. Oh, hey, nice, nice piling down on the lurkers there. Papa Pen is making 42 links though. I don't. I mean, like maybe that's like literally all he can get out right now. Like he's just got that much larva that that's what's gonna happen. But I don't think that it's necessarily a great unit to counter what's happening here. Eleven also brought his queens with him. Oh, he's counterattacking with the links. Okay, that makes way more sense than trying to attack. Like, uh, trying to, like he's base trading. You know, he's ba he's base yeah, trading. He's trying to find some damage here, and it looks like he's doing work. It's yeah. gonna be a whole bunch of. Uh... Oh, he just passed. Uh, he just passed 11's damage in his own base for number of drones destroyed. Yeah. Eleven sending a bunch of hydralisks back, and I—I I mean, I don't think links can handle hydralisks because hydralisk DPS is pretty solid, and there is a lot of them here, especially when they can form uh, little pods. Cave, I guess like hide behind. Yeah. Like I don't know exactly what I want to say, but like hide behind the wall. I do like how Papa Panda. If you look at pa Eleven's wall, pa Papa Panda has blocked it here with the change links, so that Eleven can't get out, but. This is going to be a really hard fight here for Papa Panda to engage into. All his Banelings are dead. There are still Lurkers. GG gets called. And Damn. yeah, that, that makes sense to me. It was looking uh, it was looking real good until those Lurkers showed their ugly faces, wasn't it? Yeah, the Lurkers are actually solid. You know, like they're very... I mean, obviously, uh, this is not another hot take from, from us. <laughs> lurkers are another hot lurkers. take. <laughs> hive, hive units are good. Yeah, exactly. You know, like... Uh, <laughs> Uh, tier three units are good, you know. Like cra that's crazy. It's wild. Next thing to say, the carrier is good, you know. Like yeah, or the battle cruiser. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'd never even noticed they're making us referees. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. I don't know what that means. Does that mean we can just disqualify somebody for no reason? Uh, if they, no, if they like accidentally pause or something, then we are the only ones that can unpause it. Oh, okay. That's a lot to handle. Yeah, exactly. And then I bet you there's probably even more in regards to that, but I don't know it. Glittering Ashes will be the next map. Yeah, I don't... What did, what did we play on first? I thought we played on Glittering Ashes first. No, it was Hardwire. Oh, Hardwire, right. And then 22,000-something, whatever. 2,000 Atmosphere, yeah. 2,000 Atmospheres, yeah. So, spawning in the bottom left, remember this is the best of seven, so maybe he's just feeling his opponent out. It's Platinum Heroes, Papa Panda. And spawning in the top right, currently up two games to zero. I tabbed out. It is... <laughs> 11. Nice. We're, we are now calling E11. E11. And E11 is throwing down an early spawning pool here. It's mixing it up. I And Papa Panda's coming for the block, so I guess Papa Panda is going to unintentionally see that this is going to be a pool first you know like this is not a normal thing from zerg because normally zerg doesn't drone scout like this is just not a thing but as you've said a couple times papa panda pretty creative he's bringing the uh, drone scout back you know yeah i wonder when he comes up into the main and is like what's going on here because uh, okay, oh, right what? Away, right. <laughs> he, he does it right away i'm glad that he did that because he's gonna see this he's gonna see the the gasless 12 pool or whatever this was. I'm assuming yep. it's always gasless. I don't know why you'd get such an early pool and then gas. I guess unless you're following it up with roaches, no. maybe? I I have myself built an extractor before the pool. Whoa. Yeah, but you're the maddest of lads. Okay, now wait. Is Papa Panda going to get tricked again? Oh, he's oh man. Papa Panda learned. He's, he's like an AI. Because now he's going to force Eleven <laughs> to take that, that third base. Because uh, Eleven... Oh, never mind. I was going to say Eleven's coming down with a drone to try and do the little sneaky, but he's not. It's it's the Lings. It was the Lings all along. It's the little uh, little dinosaur men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta they're... love the Leviathan brood skins. 
I uh, I do like the skins actually. Not that like you know I, Poon got me skins for my birthday last year, so that's the like the only. Aw, cute. Yeah, exactly. It, it was nice. And I have I got like the cell shaded Terran skins because I think cell shaded is super cool, but. I, don't I think cell shading's cool. Yeah, exactly. Like I remember when I first saw it in Wind Waker, I think, or at least that's when I remember seeing it. Okay, Papa Panda pulling like almost all his drones. I guess we're gonna see the micro here. Oh hey, you know what? Actually lots of never mind, four drones dying. I was gonna say that the Lings look like that it was a pretty good <laughs> trade going on, but it's not. Papa Panda's not building anything either. Like he didn't start the Lings, so I think that this is going to be a dead hatchery compounded by well I mean now they're even in workers I guess so but the workers are the warriors yeah. right now okay so. so attacking when the broods like when the broods pop Bob Pen is attacking and Bob Pen <laughs> is just behind I guess and it's another weird game this seems to be the meta at least at this like elo because that's what they were doing the other day too was just uh like super aggressive all-ins and stuff like that yep maybe this isn't an all-in maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong but it definitely seems like it's uh he's dedicated uh, pressure he just started speed now so maybe not like i don't know that seems kind of late if he's trying to all in the links yeah, Eleven just started Ling or yeah, he just started the speed, and I like how he has the scouting lings. You know, he's got lings one, two, and three. Yep. The, again, it's kind of more of a thing that I think about against a unit or like a race that has like faster dropship capability and stuff like that, because you're trying to like scout all around kind of kind of thing. But I mean, it's not necessarily not necessarily bad if you see like a ling flood or something. It's just the because he I guess Eleven's gonna see this the lings running by, but. His overlord would have seen that, you know. Like you don't really need the the units across the map for this because now Eleven has to call them back, and they're behind, and then they're gonna have a bit of a weird flank, I guess. Papa Panda getting Burrow again. Th I think this must be like a fat finger or something. Like I don't think these are intentional, <laughs> in intentional Burrow. I trying to yeah, he's probably trying to build queens and accident accidentally hitting uh hitting Burrow. Yeah, Eleven is I mean. really well prepared for this. Papa Panda's got to be careful. Eleven's speed is just about to finish, but Papa Panda gets out. I like I like this call. Eleven immediately starts building banelings, though something that Papa Panda's kind of shown is a little hard to micro against, given the the ping from Taiwan and everything. Yeah, doesn't yet have his baneling mess. Um, maybe he'll skip it. What do you think, Jeff? Well, I don't think that he should skip it because Eleven told me that it's a necessity. But he doesn't have a wall either. Like, I think this is just going to be really hard for Papa Panda. Yeah. Eleven's bringing him into the Bane Link, so we're going to have to see how these connections are. And it's almost all of the links. That was very unfortunate for Papa Panda. Oh, my God. It's the exact same thing that's happened before. Eleven, you, these you sneak predatory, <laughs> These predatory Bane Links. I mean, it was smart. It was definitely a very smart play, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's exactly what, like if if you would have told me that we already played this game, this game number one, I'd believe you. Other than the fact that I guess there wasn't a twelve pool. Uh, that's true. It was very slightly different, and I know everybody was super <laughs> super confused. They thought that it was the same game. Yeah, but okay, there you go. So unfortunately, Papa Panda is eating all those bane shots again with his links. He's kind of. The queens aren't in the wall. I feel like you want the queens in the wall right now. I guess it doesn't really matter either way because Eleven's not really following up, and Papa Pan is fighting with the drones in the. I don't. I think he held position there to keep the queen alive. I really like that move. I think that's really smart because once that happens, then you have to target the drones yourself. But Eleven is just so far ahead in supply in workers. His saturation is not great in his third base, but I'm sure that that's what he's going to work towards next. He has a third base. That's true. His third base is defended by a spine crawler. He's uh, he's got some very, very rich things, you know. Yes. Yeah. He's flexing. He is flexing. And they're both playing roaches. Papa Panda's roaches are a little bit faster. Papa Panda's plus one is a little bit faster. I wonder because they get they seem to get both of the Evo chambers at the same time, but then they can't really afford to get the second upgrade. 
I wonder what the like. I wonder if it's just specifically because a wall is so such like such a necessity in this matchup that you get it, you know, like before it becomes viable, or if maybe they didn't take so much damage or they got their you know third bases out and saturated on time. Then yeah, your your guess is as good as mine. I mean, I know, I, and I know we've agreed to never learn this matchup, so you know that's true, or to learn at all. We've we've agreed to never learn. Well, that would require some amount of effort, and everybody who's ever watched the stream knows that this is very low effort stuff. Precisely, just like the fact that we have a spelling mistake in the stream title, and I I have not fixed it, <laughs> and I will not fix it. <laughs> I refuse. Yeah. So but what if there are people out there on the internet looking for the DLC finals? They're going to be missing the stream. We should have thousands of viewers right now. Of course. Well, when we have these big names like Papa Panda and Eleven, or sorry, Eleven. 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 Thank you. Eleven. You're welcome. I think that makes complete sense. Do you think Papa Panda is even going to try to take a third base? Like he's just going for the mutas again, and uh, I don't remember. Someone said it in the chat, but it's like once they defend mutas, then. Like, if the mutas don't kill them or do some sort of crippling amount of damage, it's just kind of over. And I definitely saw that that game, because Papa Panda's mutas didn't scale into the lurkers very well. No, they did not. Did not. Did not. Do you think Tommy Wiseau could copyright us now and take all the revenue from the stream? Yeah, I think the stream's already been shut down oh, no. by this point. Hey, did you watch that Disaster Artist movie? Uh, no, I am an anti James Franco fan. Uh, uh, he, I I do not enjoy his movies. Is it because you think Dave Franco is better and he should get the shot that James got? Uh, no. It's okay to say that you love <laughs> Dave Franco, Matt. I love Dave Franco. There, I said it. <laughs> I mean, but, I like uh, Dave no. Franco in Twenty One Jump Street, and in Twenty Two I mean, Jump Street. That's the only thing I know Dave Franco was in. Was he actually in other things, or did he just kind of... He was. He played Mark in The Disaster Artist, I think. Oh, that's fair. I guess he would be in that. Yeah. I assume I assume he just kind of lives off of Alison Bree's money, oh, you know? Is that his wife? I think so. Oh, I did not know that. Good for Dave Franco. Okay, so Baba Panda sees the... Uh, Sees the big roach attack coming, and it's basically just like last game here. Uh, I like how he's targeting the Ravengers first, because yep. they're like the mobile siege unit and everything. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Eleven go. I mean, Eleven can just take down the entire wall basically and retreat, if that's what he's so inclined to do. Papa I Pan I won't. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say Papa Pan is like lost that road tour and he's already started another one but it's gonna take forever so all he's really gonna be able to defend himself with okay never mind it's over and just like that at 11 takes game three yeah man. when i say and when i say and just like that i mean and just like the other two games yeah i didn't think that i didn't think this was gonna be such a like you know a 3-0 but maybe papa panda is kind of like goku <laughs> you know he's getting He's getting knocked around a little bit, but then his Saiyan blood is going to kick in. Oh, it's Blackburn! The potential oh, it's Blackburn. final map! Blackburn is the, might be the sensu bean that this <laughs> series requires. That Papa Panda needs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Come on, Papa Panda. We believe in you. Everyone, Everyone raise focus your, your energy. Yeah, give your energy to Papa Panda. Not to say that uh, this is, you know, we're not... Oh, wait, I forgot I have to say ready. Shit. Papa Panda is going to watch this again because he's our biggest fan and he watches all the VODs and everything. And uh, maybe we'll lose uh, a fan. <laughs> and he was definitely the one who chose Blackburn as a map because uh, he knows that it's my favorite map. And we're, we're secret best friends. Nice. Lucky. I just said that Papa Panda is up. They switched it around for me. All right, so spawning. I gotta let you do your best friend. Spawning in the bottom left, playing for Risen from the Ashes. All he needs is one more game to be the Diamond League Championship champion. It's a weird thing. It is 11. And spawning in the bottom right, hoping 
to push for a game five, my best friend, Papa Panda. Man, you're so lucky that Papa Panda is your best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Well, you're my best friend, and then Papa Panda is the person I tell everyone is my best friend. Oh, nice. So then, like, if someone was going to do, like, a taken kidnapping, they would kidnap Papa Panda instead of me? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they would take Papa Panda, and then I would ask for your help, and the whole movie, you would be really conflicted about actually helping me save him. You know? Okay, Eleven was trying to do the, the, the sneaky cheekiness, and he's still doing it. So now this is super delaying Eleven's uh, hatchery. Because, oh, and Pop Panda is uh, 12 pooling, or whatever this was. Early pooling. So I guess this is probably his best case scenario for Papa Panda here, because his, like, Eleven's pool hasn't even started yet. His hatch probably won't even be finished by the time the lings are running over there. Oh yeah, it definitely won't be finished because the lings are man. A twelve pool hits so fast, actually. It's crazy how fast it hits when you. It does. When you haven't seen it in, like, cause I I didn't see it for a really long time, and then it came back on the ladder. I think because Sarah started doing it, and it just hits so much faster than you could ever realize. And now, is Eleven gonna see these? Is Le Eleven looking? Eleven is looking. So Eleven just saw those lings run by. What's his? You know, version of the response because Papa Panda pulled a ton of drones, and it didn't really work out for him. Oh, Eleven is also looking to pull those drones as well. I wonder if there's a world where you just sack the hatchery and cancel it. Like, I wonder if that and just build a bunch of spines or something. Like... Yeah, like if that, like, and use, like, but then you have to counterattack. I guess I don't know. I mean, because here you're keeping it alive and you're waiting until like your lings pop basically like that's obviously what you're going for here but you're losing a lot of mining time papa panda does like the amount of drones that, that 11 has pulled is kind of like the amount that papa panda has mining though to to an extent not quite i think papa panda maybe has a little bit more mining going on but this has been a like an i would say an excellent trade for papa panda i don't know if he yeah. needs to get this hatchery for this to be worth it but, I don't. I don't know either. I, I I'd be tempted to say no. Um, those drones now return to mining, but he lost several of them, and not to like you said, the the mining time is huge, right? So. Right. With that, with the with the spine on the low ground, I don't know if Papa Pen is really gonna find any damage. I mean, maybe he could run up into the main, and try to get drones up there. But I like that. Oh, oh, well, that's weird. He gotcha. canceled his hatchery. He had a. He had the hatchery grow up going, and then he canceled the hatchery at the gold base. Interesting. So, yeah. And instead, he decided to build a ton of links. I guess he used that money to build links. But I just don't know if he's going to find the damage here. Eleven doesn't have any energy for transfuses, though, so if he just jumps on this, kills the yep. hatchery, runs away, I don't know. I mean, someone's Damn. done the math. I don't know if that's super worth it or not, but he can't really run by because the queens are held position on the ramp, which is exactly what you're supposed to do if you're 11. Yep. Yeah, I like the that queen placement, um, preventing any further disturbance to his economy, oh, but oh, I mean... Oh, he's end. what a mad lad! And, and now he's going to pick up this spine. Wait, 11's lings are stuck behind there. This is like best case scenario, worst case Ontario for, Pub Pen, or for 11 right now. He kept that drone alive, though. That, so, Bob Pen is kind of bleeding units, but it's keeping Eleven in a, well, in a rough position. Yeah. Papa Panda's second base finish, and it is at the rich mineral veins, so we're going to... I wonder if that's going to give his economy the boost it needs, you know? Yeah, because Papa Panda is actually, like, lower in drones right now, because Papa Panda is just not building them. <laughs> like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if he's built a single drone yet. He... He's built, like, one or two, maybe. Now he's building a ton. So now he's droning up. He's kind of soft containing 11 here. He's getting a good trade. He's, but he just picked off all those links for free. He's got to be careful not to... I don't think you want to run up this ramp, Papa Panda. 11's got queens to be shooting from downtown. 11's not mining any gas. He's got very little gas, and he's got a baneliness on the way. But banelings cost gas. So Papa Panda's now looking around for a ninja base. And... I mean, we know that Eleven doesn't have it. Papa Panda doesn't. Papa Panda is getting the Roach Warren, and oh, he's getting plus one. 
in a hidden location as well, so that Eleven can't scout this. Absolute insanity. But that's that uh, very creative, smart play. I remember I played Papa Panda on... I think it... I, I'm picturing the map, but I can't remember the name, but it had a rich, rich Vespian geysers, and he expanded towards those and just roach all into me. And it was the first time I'd ever seen it. But then I found out that Bly did it. So, you know, he's also a very creative player. Okay, so Papa Panda, all Papa Panda's lings are chasing three of Eleven's lings. Eleven's got a couple of lings out. But, I mean, the overlords are spread in a way that Papa Panda can see it. Now, I wonder if Eleven feels like he's in a better position than he actually is because he thinks that Papa Panda's natural base is so far nah. behind. Eleven's know. pretty clever. I, I bet he's thinking ninja base now. Seeing that that natural hasn't completed yet. Well, but Eleven, ran, he's running in to take out the natural instead of going for the rich Vespian. I don't think Eleven knows the rich Vespian's there. Not rich Vespian, sorry. Uh, rich, rich, rich mineral base, field. Whatever, gold base, whatever you call it. Uh, cancel, yes. Wow, last second. Papa Panda gets the cancel off. Papa Panda's got to be super careful not to eat these Bane shots because that's like the big detriment of what's been happening in this series is that yeah. Papa Panda kind of goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Levin and then eats just a huge bailing hit, loses all his lings. It, it seems to be where the lag is hitting him hardest and avoiding uh, getting exploded all over by a baneling, you know? Yes. But I think we're in a very similar position that we've seen before, just on the reverse. Paw Panda is going to be the one trying to break a ramp that seems like it's way too well defended. But he's going to be keeping 11 on two bases while being on three himself if this, presumably, his natural is going to finish. Mm -hmm. He's got the roaches. He's been building some roaches now. I mean, they're a little bit tougher than uh, those lings, you know. Strong against both Bane lings and against spines, really. So maybe he will break the ramp. Papa Panda sees and, uh, the lair, too. So Papa Panda, Papa Panda sees the lair. Oh, uh, I see. Eleven's lair, sorry, that wasn't clear. Yeah, so I understand. Lair, and he's got a changeling at the top of the ramp, so he, Papa Panda has the best vision that he can possibly have. I don't really love losing the Overseer like that, but, I mean, it happens. I think he's got to be really careful here, though. Like, I don't... Uh, okay, actually, Banelings suck against Roaches. Never mind. They do. They're really yeah, bad. They, <laughs> I think the Banelings did more to kill Eleven's Zerglings than they did to damage those Roaches. But I don't... I don't... I don't know if Papa Panda's gonna be able to... I, I think he should have maybe held back for a moment and morphed some Ravagers to take out the Spines before pushing that hard into that. Right. Papa Panda should that, held back and stretched, maybe? Yeah, that looked, uh, that looked expensive. But he does have the like the income advantage. He's got the oh no, he doesn't have the drone advantage. Man, Papa Panda just maybe his D key's not working. This <laughs> his <series>. D key? <laughs> yeah, that could be it. I like to imagine that he's a grid player and that his Q key is a little sticky. He spilled some sunny delight on it earlier or Ooh, something, some or whatever D. the whatever the Taiwanese equivalent of sunny D is. Wadi. I can't. I don't know. My Chinese is so bad now. I was speak. Er, I when I took the students, the, the international students skating the other day, I was speaking with the former assistant superintendent, and he was like, "Oh, you got so many skills and everything." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm a good teacher. Yeah, sure." And he was like, "Yeah, but you can speak Mandarin." And I was like, "Not really. <laughs> you know, like I haven't lived there in a really long time." Yeah, that's pretty funny. You should have just rolled with it. Yeah. Because. <laughs> what are the chances that it would ever come up? Like, you think you'd have a visit from <laughs> from a board superintendent and they would address you in Mandarin? Yeah. Listen to this back and forth. <laughs> I feel like I'm at an embassy. Oh, yeah. What what community episode is that? Uh, that's when they get the supply, or like the new teacher in Spanish oh, after right. Chang gets fired and she speaks to them in uh, like perfect Spanish. Yeah, I remember And they just that. keep going, see. Sí. So eleven, uh, sorry, Papa Pan. Oh wait, Eleven's got. Oh, Eleven's drop alerting. Oh, oh my God, amazing! Eleven is drop alerting. Papa Pan did not see this coming. <laughs> oh wait, and he's he's trying to get out now. 
No, he's just trying to do drop a lord micro. Just like you might expect to see with immortals. No you way. Know, oh, oh, yeah, deep. you're right. He's drop. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Is he going to lose these? Is he going to lose those? Yeah, okay. So, pop a pen. Okay, this actually can be quite challenging as a, a player attacking on, mul like, being attacked on multiple fronts and trying to, like, keep control of your army because pop a pen is now getting pushed down the gut as well. So, yep. Okay, so he's survived in the main, and he's got to be careful. I'm not exactly sure who has more units here. Papa Panda has the better upgrades, but Eleven looks like he's just got more roaches. I think Papa Panda wants to retreat here. He's not, though, and I might he might end up losing all of these roaches here. He's got uh, some reinforcements coming in. Papa Panda's also at plus two at the moment, but yeah. it doesn't seem to be well, paying Papa dividends. Panda, yeah, I, I don't know how much... Because, uh, like, upgrades really matter on a high DPS unit, which I don't think the Roach okay. is. Like, uh, that's, a Marine, that's fair. high yeah. DPS shoots a lot. The Phoenix shoots a lot. So, those I got you. upgrades are, are very beneficial for a unit like that. A like Hydra a high has fire. a high... Yeah, a Hydra has high DPS. But this might actually just be enough for Papa Panda to just kind of knock knock who's there. Maybe... Has, has he seen the third? He has. The third he is has. looking just... pretty. Looks pretty tasty. Yeah, I just checked. I think Papa Panda could go take that third out. I don't know. Maybe he feels like it's dishonorable because he that happened to him constantly, like eleven taking out his uh, his third base. But okay, now Papa Panda. Oh, Papa Panda was waiting for it to be almost finished. Maybe. Okay, yeah, because 11 can't cancel now. Man, if Papa Panda was actually doing that, or if I'm just, like, you know, uh, attributing <laughs> too, too smart of gameplay to him. But either way, I love to do that when I'm 3-raxing Protoss, and I uh, wait, because you're supposed to, basically you're supposed to go and cancel the third base. That's kind of the idea. But I try to hit as their third base is basically finished so that they uh, have to, like, they can't cancel if they just lose it, you know? Yeah. It doesn't always work, though. I don't recommend it. I'm not very good. Especially in TVP. I'm just terrible. I mean, TVP is hard, but since this isn't the Discord, I won't say why. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, looks like something is happening. Oh, it's just an overlord. Okay, Okay. so there is drop lords being sent to Papa Panda's main again. Of course, I selected the rocks by accident when I was trying to follow the, <laughs> the overlords, but, you know, here we go. Papa Panda has an overlord meeting it there. Papa Panda not looking at it, I don't think. I don't even remember whose camera I was clicking there. We might see a classic Papa Panda base trade attempt. I think we are going to see it, actually, because Eleven... Uh, I was missing the fight. I was watching the Overlords for some reason. So Papa Panda doing a pretty good job pretty of excited. cleaning up this fight. Eleven's two. Yeah, two. Oh. Duo, thank you for the gift of sub, my dude. It's a big engage. Let's... Uh... Oh, and they're just, they're going off to opposite corners. They're going to stand <laughs> in, the, in the opponent's corner. And then Eleven says, like, oh, wait, <laughs> my base is over here. Yeah. But, okay, the the spines. Like, I don't know if this is really going to be the engagement that Papa Panda wants. He doesn't have the upgrade advantage anymore. Eleven's about to get plus one. Uh, whatever, hard body, whatever we called it last week. Hard Bodies, yeah, hard bodies. And he just lost his lair, so Papa Panda is giving up his main base here. Damn. Which does put them. Oh, actually, holy crap! Papa Panda's got so many roaches. Eleven's just gonna be able to take a take and you know run away, but uh, yeah, duo, oh. duo. Thanks for the thanks for the the sub, man. We appreciate that. Uh, definitely we... not a prerequisite to watch though. Just having you here is enough. I'm. I'm a little bit sore that... Oh, it's going to die on its own, isn't it? Off creep. I'm just what, thinking about the, the, spawning, the spawning pool in oh, Papa Pandas? Panda's oh, yeah, it's main. Die. I hope that he remembers to build another one so that he can well, he's getting keep a creep re-upping tumor. on those, que those queens and zerglings. You he's know? getting a creep tumor that might spread far enough to get the like creep to the spawning pool. But right now we have two ships in the night. Eleven in kind of like the more traditional spot where you would go across the map and Papa Panda taking the backwards route or whatever you want to call it. Eleven sees Papa Panda and... Oh, 
Eleven sees Papa Panda's attacking of his ramp, and he turns around. So there's no base trade here. This is going to be where like the big ending fight is going to take place, I would imagine. Because if Eleven loses here, I don't think he's going to be able to uh, keep enough of his production alive to be able to continue to fight. I could definitely be wrong, but this has been just an absolute action-packed game here. A Man. lot of Papa Panda's units are pretty low. Eleven has the plus one hard bodies upgrade. Papa Pandas is still pretty far away, but Eleven's only on one base, one building. And both players are doing a really good job of not eating each other's biles, because that's kind of like a good way to lose here. But I think that Papa Panda's just going to be kind of... Ooh, Papa Panda just ate a bunch of biles, as I said that. Um, a Hydra's... On the way for uh, <laughs> 11, I don't know if it's going to be enough, and a bunch more roaches uh, coming to back up the main force. Yeah, uh, Papa Panda, I think Papa Panda could just take his hands off the keyboard and win this fight. He's just got too much stuff. He does have too much stuff. And everyone knows that that's how you win at StarCraft. You have more stuff. There it is! GG Keeping Papa it Panda's alive! Papa Panda is on the board. So that's uh, that's good. That's what we like to see. Your best friend, my mentor, Papa Panda, on the board. Damn. I don't know what map five is. They did all of the, they did the vetoes, everybody, and we just didn't pay attention like professionals do. I think we were confused about what was happening on our stream. Oh, I couldn't remember the name of the map, but this was going to be my guess. Pride of Alteris. See, I was thinking that we wouldn't see this one at all. This one's huge, so presumably we'll actually get like a macro game instead of, uh, well, what's been happening. But who knows? This could also be, when it's so large, it could be uh, proxy hatch territory. Uh, that would be that would be something different. I'm I'm expecting that we're gonna see <laughs> two bailing nests and <laughs> three bases come out pretty quick. That's how they've been playing recently. I I like. I actually, I really did like Papa Panda's play that last game. I think it was pretty smart, blocking the hatch, going for the early pool, taking the rich, uh, the rich mineral base. Okay, so that's three for eleven, one for spawning in the bottom right. Platinum Heroes. He needs to win. He needs to reverse all reverse sweep here. It's Papa Panda. Spawning in the top left, up three games to one. The monster, eleven. Is he kind of like a monster energy drink, you think? or? Uh, I think he's like the monster energy with coffee. Because he's like a little bit more mature than just the normal drink. <laughs> but he's still uh, s still what, what you would not want to sit behind you in a movie theater. Absolutely, I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, Papa Panda did the extractor trick, it looks like. Because, you know, he's got one extra drone. And he's taking a 15 hatch. 11 taking a 16. Papa Panda cannot block it. Okay, I, I, I honestly, I thought that that was not, it's like... It's too far. I thought it's it was going to be too, too far. far. I thought it was going to be too far. I mean, if he had beelined it right there, I think that he could have blocked that by 11. But, but will he block the minerals? Well, so far, it, like, he's... Uh, he, right now, he's trying to, like, mineral harass, which, like, I mean, this is something a Protoss player does, as far as I understand. I've never really seen another another faction really do it before but the idea here okay never mind he just messed it up or whatever he's doing here maybe that, that was on purpose but the idea is that uh you can only really have two workers mining if if a worker goes to mine the mineral patch while another worker is like about to mine it as well the ai kind of like derps out and they go and find another mineral patch so Papa Panda would try to mine a mineral patch at the same time as one of Eleven's drones would go there, so that Eleven's drone yep. wouldn't mine the mineral patch and then would go to a different random mineral patch, essentially. That's I the, see. And the then mineral will group. it remain at that other yeah. patch? Like, yeah, screwing and then, everything well, up? Because then that screws... Oh, hey, Papa Panda was blocking the gas and then cancelled it. So another kind of interesting move. He's switching it up, not finishing that this time. He's maybe. just styling. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe it felt like it wasn't really doing anything. And now he's getting a um, a, a spine crawler 
in in vision. You know, like it's not like it was out of vision or anything. Like Papa Panda is just the a creative, interesting young panda. Stealing the gas now. <laughs> He's getting Wait. He got the getting a lot of mileage. Uh oh, it looked like died. a cancel yeah, and then well, the drone died. Yeah, okay. Well, you got a lot of mileage out of that out of that drone, a lot of a lot of memes to be had, you know. Yeah, exactly. And now Papa Pan is ling flooding, but Eleven is definitely reading this correctly because he's building two spores on the high ground. But nothing else. What a He's he's just got way more drones. Yeah, Papa Pan has got eight and his speed is just about to finish here. Sorry, Eleven has eight Zerglings, Papa Panda has twenty two, speed's just about to finish. He's not going to be able to get by the queens, at least not quite yet. Eleven, yeah, okay. I was going to say, eleven spine crawlers are not within range, but he moved the queens back slightly. Uh, Papa Panda is going to go for it anyways. He got one queen for a ton of lings, actually. If he can surround this other queen that's like down here, though. Okay, there's this round. Nice job uh, by Papa Panda here. He's going to be able to keep the pressure on. But I, I think he needs... I think he needs way more damage, you know, like, I th I think he probably needs to get this kill on this hatchery. Because Eleven's chosen to uh, spine defend instead, and those aren't going to move down the ramp. Papa Panda should just, like, drone. Oh, they are going to move down the ramp. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I don't oh, think I was they can. Was I go. really don't think they can. What do you mean? Because they would get surrounded. Like, like, they'll get destroyed? Yeah, yeah, yeah They'll yeah. get destroyed. Because they take a relatively long time to burrow. And I think that, yeah, they do. And I think the bottom of the ramp is maybe not quite in vision of any of the ones at the top of the ramp. Maybe, maybe one maybe or it's two like of a them. Creep. Yeah. If they could move, the... like if he had a creep tumor and could move to the left a little bit, then I would yeah. be like, yeah, for sure. But... Well, you're inside my brain right now, Jeff. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. You just wrinkled my brain. <laughs> so now Eleven's going for the... I guess to get a hatch. I, but Papa Panda didn't... He didn't take the gold base this time. I don't know, maybe he thought that would be too obvious to do the exact same like kind of strategy and idea that he had done last game. So he just kind of took a straight, normal third base. And Eleven's floating. He's floating, he's got his Baneling Nest, but nothing really more than that. As long as Papa Panda doesn't eat these Bane shots, but I mean, there's a very real chance that he's going to. I think that he can put this pressure on Eleven for quite some time here. Papa Panda also going Good for a player. Papa Panda, no Baneling nest. He's skipping it. Okay, he's Papa skipping it, man. <laughs> so Papa Panda's keeping an eye on all these Banes here. With the Lings. He knows the... Well, I mean, I guess he knows the positioning of the Banes. He, I guess if he really wanted... Ooh, that was pretty good. So Papa Panda actually getting really good trades now for the the links. He's got to be really careful. Because this is not easy, especially with them being me melee units. I think... Because the Banelings are like Eleven's big defense right now. Do you think that Papa Panda could, like, juke around them and go for another cancel on that hatch? I guess it's probably They're too many links. They're pretty slow at the moment, you know? Like, he could maybe oh, try and... Oh. Nice control by Papa Pan here. Eleven sent three Banelings across the map. There's not really anything at home for Eleven. Or uh, for Papa Pan, sorry. Uh, okay, that was a huge connection, unfortunately. Oh, that was a huge connection. Another one. Oh, boy, it's going to make it to the base to hit some... Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, it was in the base, but it didn't get into the mineral line. So this counterattack is, I think, going to be very difficult for Papa Panda to handle because he accidentally just lost all his links. Or almost all of them. And there's more babies or, coming. You don't know that it was accidental. Maybe that's exactly what he wanted to do. It's like sacking your queen in the first three, uh, first three turns of a chess match. It's a, yeah, it's the like what you always do when you play against Poon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so... I think this is going to be so long third base. Unfortunate for Papa Panda. But Papa Panda is getting... Like, he's he's teched. He's teched way further. You know, he's got a lair. Eleven does not. He's got... Roaches, roaches on the 11 way. Eleven does not. But the inflated supply, his supply blocked him a little bit. Yep. And he's um, also got a fair amount of drones. He's just got to be really careful 
of the Bane hits. Papa Panda looks like he wants to take that third base again. Eleven's rally is kind of wonky, but Papa Panda's not really taking advantage of that. Elaine, thank you for the follow, my dude. Al, yeah, Al Elaine, yeah, it's like pain. Whitney's been teaching me how to say words. Furious Droid is saying, said in chat, could have been a long time ago, walk the spines, which I think is a hilarious idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would actually be so funny. Oh, man, I would love that. But you can just, like, I guess you could just oh, morph the spines. that was so sneaky, though. Eleven uh, runs the, the lings in so that Papa Panda follows with his roaches just, and then yeah. came in with the, the, the Bane links and just got seven drones killed and is now higher drone count than Papa Panda is. Pretty slick. That might very well be the TSN turning point. Yeah, because they're both just built 10 like drones themselves, and I guess we're coming into uh, what could be called a macro game, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> they both macro plus game? One. Question mark. Papa Panda's got a third base. One Bane Link trying to get a little... The one Bane Link that could is going to just get absolutely deleted. Okay, so it looks like we got a little bit of a slowed down time. Everybody, I'd so, like to talk to you about something serious. Uh, I'm, we're we're hosting two tournaments in the, the upcoming months. One of them is for 5K and under, 5 5K MMR and under. We're still looking for four players. So if you want to sign up for that, it will have been posted in the 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 chat, the the Twitch chat, two minutes ago because that's how that's how um, delays work. So you know. If you want to sign up for that, even if you're not 5K, we would still really appreciate you signing up for that because we need four more players. So you know, that's the. That's you're the asking, concept. you're asking me specifically, right? Yeah, you, you specifically. I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah, I muted myself to the stream, right? They, they couldn't hear that. Oh, awkward. <laughs> you uh, didn't mute yourself. Oh no, Paw Panda going for a Nidus network, and he has an Overlord in position, and this like main base i'll zoom out is like absolutely gigantic so if 11's not thinking about this and i don't really know why he would be there's probably a pretty good chance that this nidus goes down like completely undetected as well but papa panda is sending roaches across the map and then i guess the reinforcements are going to be put in this nidus i don't really get that you know like You're wrong to attack <laughs> you can't fight up the ramp though so i mean well, because he's only got one roach in there right now. So, like, this Nidus is going to finish. It's going to go, you know, like, and then Eleven's going to yeah. start looking around for it if he doesn't see Yeah, he doesn't see it. So it's not in his vision, but Eleven knows it's there. Like, he's looking. It's only three roaches. No. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, the thing, right? Like, if all the roaches, because Eleven, or so, yeah, Eleven focuses it down. Like, I think that this was such an interesting and cool move if it was a little bit better coordinated and Papa Panda had those roaches at home. Yeah, I think with his whole, with his full force of roaches, that could have been pretty effective. Yeah. But the unfortunate thing is that they weren't all there. Uh, but we have another nice coming up at the third base. Eleven seems to know it's there, I guess, or he's just re. What? Uh, he's he's repositioning his army just because that's kind of the scary part. Uh, Papa Panda immediately jumps on the queens, but I think that. Eleven just has more roaches here and the spine. I think Papa Panda wants to run away. Yeah, there we go. He's running away. He's doing another Nidus in the main base, but there is a spine crawler already there, and it's just dunking on it. So I don't think that Papa Panda is really going to find any value. Oh, no, he's... Why? Okay, whatever. It's three roaches again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, that, this is just a way to bleed out your roach count. Eleven's not building anything, so like that is something that Papa Panda has going for him. His 11's not building oh, anything. Two roaches have survived, and now they're just going to start wrecking up the mineral line. <laughs> What's 11's army doing? Where is where I is think 11? they're uh, probably texting and driving. Oh, there they are. They're at his third base. Oh, 11's trying to like split his army up properly. I guess he doesn't see that there is the Nidus in his nap, like in his behind the mineral line. So, Papa Pan. Oh, Papa Pan's got Burrow! The Burrow! The tunneling claws! Did you see that? <laughs> Amazing! Of course I did! I could, I could see a Burrow from a, from a mile away. Wow, so Papa Panda actually has a lot more. Like, uh, now I feel bad for sleeping on Papa Panda here. Like, he's got way more roaches <laughs> in, and he's actually doing the Burrow micro too, because they heal when they're under yep. the ground. 
Oh, he's gonna take out the the spawning pool. And now in the third base, like Papa Panda. Wow, Papa Panda's got so many more drones. Eleven just lost ten. In the third base, there's roaches uh, spewing there, but there is two two spines and some roaches. So that's it's not like uh, it's not like Eleven is completely defenseless. But Papa Panda still continuing with the burrowed tunnel and clawed roaches into the natural mineral line, where there's like really all of Eleven's mining happening. So. Yep. And once they kill that queen, they're gonna have free reign to just slap some drones around. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, now they're gonna keep taking out the army units, which also is a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think any, like, just kind of trades in general right now are good for Papa Panda. Like, it doesn't really matter, like, whether it's army units or um, queens or, or uh, drones. Like, it, it, it's good for Papa Panda. He's got the supply lead, he's got the worker lead. Eleven has the army lead, but I don't know where his army is. Like, it seems like his army is just kind of like... I guess he's being attacked in so many different positions that his army just can't keep up. That, that seems to be the case, right? And you can have a lot of army supply, but that doesn't equate to a lot of roaches. Right. Um, the bro roaches coming yeah. in at the third. I don't I don't think that he's really... Like, I don't think Get him. is really going to find the damage here, though, because it's relatively the same amount of roaches. But there's a spine as well. So like just well I think like he just wants the drones, happens. and then he can burrow out of there and just be like, yep. That is true. You're absolutely right about that. We have been seeing that a lot. Eleven doesn't They're... have really any detection except for one overseer. But he... Or over... Yeah, overseer. That's what it's called. Yeah, good job. Good job, me. Knowing the job. names of... Good things. job knowing things. Yeah, to the game that you play constantly and have been playing for seven years or whatever. Isn't it isn't it closer to like twelve years? Didn't it come out in like twenty ten? Yeah, but I didn't I didn't really play like I played when it first came out and Huezo and I played twos and just got absolutely deleted every game because neither of us knew how to play. It wasn't right. until like two thousand and fourteen that I learned that there was a pro scene and started oh, like, okay. being like, I could do that and then I made my climb from bronze. Spent uh, okay. a pretty long time in diamond when I lived in China. Right. Yeah, I remember once uh, we were talking uh, at the university, and you were like, oh, I've gotten pretty good at StarCraft 2 or something like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, like I've got better too. You're like, <laughs> being the humble man that you are, you're like, no, nah, like, I've gotten pretty good. And I was just like, oh, cool, man. I didn't even like <laughs> ask you your rank or anything like that yeah, like, <laughs> until like, okay. later. <laughs> I think you brought it up again later because you wanted me to ask. Probably. <laughs> And I was like, so what's your rank? And you're like, oh, diamond or whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, I was very proud of that because I didn't think I was ever going to hit diamond when I first started playing. And then I never thought I was going to hit masters. But I now I legit don't think I'm ever going to hit grandmaster. Like, I don't I don't think I'll, I'll ever do that. You know, like, between me and you. Maybe in StarCraft 3. Yeah, Bill Gates is StarCraft 3. Yeah, right? Okay, so Eleven's taking down this nice one, but this is actually a, like a... It's a distraction. Worm because there's a huge army flooding through the choke, or just the, the gut of the uh, map. Papa Pan is splitting it up perfectly. Ling's running into the main. Roach is going to fight on the ramp. Oh, shit. Roach is going to fight on the ramp here to be able to stop any, like, of the army that was chasing the the decoy Nidus Worm. Uh, Papa Panda can't hit Biles. He's got to be careful not to eat a bunch of Biles. But other than that, I think Papa Panda has this fight in the bag. There was a pro game recently where Dark was playing Maru on this map, and Mar uh, Dark felt that he had won the game, so he Nidus Wormed in Maru's main, like, in the natural, like, right here, and then built yeah. a, a hatchery with that drone that he brought. Really? Yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> that is really funny. Good old Maru, or I mean, yeah. Damn. Papa Panda keeping it alive. Yeah, good for Papa Panda. We're showing showing our. I feel like fans is the wrong term, but showing our uh, our pals in the chat here uh, a pretty good series. I I think pals isn't strong enough. I think showing our family. Our family, yeah, family. Did you watch the new <laughs> Fast and the Furious where John Cena is? Oh, Papa Panda declined the ready process. 
Hopefully nothing. I I did not watch the new Fast and the Furious. I also didn't watch it, but I know that John Cena's in it. Well, I didn't know that, so now I have to go watch it like right now. Yeah, uh, I can finish it off. I uh, I appreciate everything that you've done. I understand that this takes precedent. What's that? Like watching. Oh, I like. I have to go watch. I forgot what I said. (laughs) Yeah. You continue that joke really well, and I just dropped the ball. And for that, I'll I'll never, I'll never be able to say I'm sorry enough. Uh, I um, I'll find it in my heart to forgive you eventually, as long as you just keep casting with me. Hey, uh, know, yeah. Right now we have two gifted, like two people who have gifted subs in the channel, and I think that's more than ever before so that's actually crazy i I didn't even notice someone named light (laughs) underscore vip gifted a sub we must not have been live but uh i appreciate that my dude i don't know what that means but let's (laughs) go on with the game anyway yeah so spawning in the top left he just built something and then cancel it don't really know why you would do that it is papa panda and spawning in the top right starting to slip a little bit it's the Red Zerg 11. I've done this before in a tournament, and it was—I mean, it still haunts me. But I—I I, uh, was one of those tournaments where there's a losers bracket. So the guy came. I beat him 2-0 in the tournament, and then he came out of the losers bracket to just bought me in a reverse best of seven three four, and I was—I don't know—I was so. I was very sad to say the least. It That's was, disheartening. It's yeah. My only, it's my only finals. Like I've never made a finals before. I made a semis where Papa Panda absolutely crushed me, and I've made, okay. You know, I've made a, like a, a quarters before, also where Papa Panda absolutely crushed me. But like that was the only finals I ever made, and I was very, very disappointed to say that I lost. Uh... Oh wait, Papa Panda sending a second drone. This is new. This is gonna be something special. Fast pool, second drone. Do you think this is a proxy? Hatch? Uh, there's there's every possibility that it is. But um, I don't think it would be... Cause it's this... a spine. It's a spine on the edge of creep. It's and... two spines on the edge of creep. Here they're, we go. They're both in Something's location, happening. Which is the unfortunate thing. But he doesn't, he doesn't have anything to do with them except for drones. And he didn't see the second one. Yeah, he, well, at least he hasn't reacted to the second one yet. Papa Panda, nice... Uh... Nice cancel micro there. He's just gonna, he's just gonna do it again. Oh my just god! Do it again, goofy <laughs> meme. And the drones are coming Look at across him the map. Do it again. Okay, so that drones are coming across the map. He mined. Yep. The, it's whatever. happening. Let's do it. This is okay, amazing. So I've, I'm so I'm so pleased that this is what's happening right now. Okay, so that's fine. Finishes. I bet you that's the huge. ultimate cheese. I bet you that's huge for this uh, <laughs> for this rush. Is that spine finishing? Papa Panda still has drones mining. It looks like. Uh, so Eleven's just gonna run away. To it's the... the only thing you can do. You yeah, know? I guess that's fair. The spines are gonna be able to kind of eat these, eat the links, and I honestly can't really see what's happening here. It looks like Pop, or it looks like Eleven just lost all his drones, and Papa Panda didn't lose any drones somehow. I I think that Eleven's economy has been uh, completely shut down. And I, Papa Panda's gonna take it in two minutes forty-five. Holy man! I honestly don't know what just happened there. <laughs> it's that that spine rush. You can't even call that cheese, you know. It looked really similar. I think Scarlet did something like that to Rogue in the GSL, and it was awesome. Oh really? <laughs> like, but like, well, like Scarlet is awesome. Yeah, but like two years ago now, I think, because she's been outside of Korea for so long. And. I don't. I mean, so I have the memory of an old man, you know. So I, someone can remind me if that if that did indeed if that was the same build order or not. But it, it really looked like it. Man, crazy. Uh, they're waiting for so, me to say ready. Uh, I'm saying it. <laughs> so is this is this game seven? Can yeah. I count? How's yeah. my arithmetic today? No, perfect, perfect. It's like you have a doctorate in arithmetic. Damn. But yeah, this is game seven. We've made it to game seven, which is crazy. The series is about an hour longer than I thought it was going to be because, you know, I was calling game seven in 25 minutes, but it's been about an hour and 25 minutes. 
It is Zerg versus Zerg, so there's a real possibility <laughs> that was going to be the case. Okay. But here we go. So we're on a best of seven, three three, spawning in the top left, playing for Risen of the Ashes. He might be tilted, actually. That's that one could be a really tilting way to end a game after losing two more in a row. It's eleven. And spawning in the bottom right, the upside down broom, the reverse sweeper, maybe. Papa Panda. I like that. The upside down broom. Is that a thing? Oh, eleven just. No, I, I made that up. I'm real. I'm real clever. I that like way, it. Yeah. I know you're a really smart young man. I've known you for a while. I've seen your your smartness, but I guess not the young part. Oh, gotcha. It's my oh, turn to right. clap back after you said I was bad at hockey. Uh, pow pow pow. So Papa Panda. Funny that you go after my age because you're you're older than me, I, old man. I am. Yeah, that's true. But I'm the oldest man on like Twitch right now, probably. You know. I thought you were going to say on Earth. <laughs> no, no, not on Earth. Your dad is still around. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Sports Paul himself. Uh, so, Eleven has to take the, I guess, the, the, the triangle base, which is a bit of an interesting call, I find. This, like, this is what I take as a Terran player. I don't know yeah. how it actually matters in Zerg vs. Zerg. And it's Pop tough Panda. because of the creep discontinuity. And like it being at an awkward angle like that, I think that's like pretty crappy to have to take, honestly. But maybe it's better for aggression if Eleven is planning on being aggressive, like maybe because you can get the creep started going out further faster. It's just my guess. Looks like Eleven's pool is finished. Or, uh, Eleven's pool started and is going to finish a little bit earlier, but for the most part, we're seeing relatively similar openings other than Papa Panda doing the gas block which doesn't really seem to be blocking all that much because they're both mining three guys in gas so it's only mo it's only messing with it like 40 maybe at the most 30 and 11 just pulling out of gas completely so I guess he's going to get the speed and then probably get a third base and then maybe abandon the nest but this is six links oh and he's building more links never mind never mind i'm wrong he's russian aggression. he's russian and this is a ling rush he's russian maybe he's russian 11's actually american thank you very much but maybe he has russian origin uh, it's, it's possible there are a number of russian americans out there mm -hmm. i didn't know 11 was american i don't yeah. know why I'd, i didn't expect that i thought he was uh I thought he. Oh, I knew he. I was pretty sure he was from NA, but I thought he was uh, from elsewhere. Uh, Papa Panda doesn't really <laughs> seem to have all. Oh no, he's got eight links. Never mind. These links were hiding. He's building a spine crawler just in case. I like how he's kind of spreading his links out. Eleven's gonna try to get as much damage here as possible, but I don't think he's really gonna find all that much. His speed is queens. only gonna finish a little bit faster than Papa Panda, so there's not really gonna be that big of a window for him to to get down with the speed 24 I guess actually you know what I guess that is a, a sizable amount of time like 20 seconds 20 seconds could be make or break in this game and 11 is building more lings and Papa Panda seeing them with his overlord so Papa Panda moving out was not expecting that. Papa Panda's moving out. Eleven's gonna chase him down, and Papa Panda has less links, so I don't think he really wants to engage in this. I imagine he's just doing a like delay was, uh, tactic. I think it was like a feint, yeah. Cause 11, Fainting that uh, run by. Yeah, because Eleven doesn't know where these links are, so he's just kind of staying at home. And Papa Panda's getting a roach worn while Eleven's getting his trusty bane link nest. He's going to go for a full wall. Three Evo Chambers, that's surprising. Is one of those meant to be a Roach War? Uh, oh, no, one is a Roach War, so it's two Evo Chambers and a oh, Roach Oh, what? How did, I, how did I screw that up? <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh, well. Seeing is hard. You know, you're good at arithmetic and I'm being getting uh, Yeah. I have what the kids are calling myopia, so it's, uh, oh, yeah. it's a tough one. So Eleven's gonna have a hard time. Oh hey, <laughs> Papa Panda's links are just hanging out in the corner there. I don't even know what that was, but uh, Papa Panda's gonna be so careful not to eat these bane shots. Like that's gonna be. I mean, I say it all the time. Eleven is flooding in here. There's no 
Oh my Pop god. I hate that, I know. He I lost know. literally his whole army, no! I saw that on stream there, just off, like, we didn't get it centered, but that was very unfortunate for Papa Panda. Papa Panda's Not like, like this. Yeah, this is gonna be hard for Papa Panda to hold this. 11 going for the spawning pool, which is... Smart. Yeah, it's, uh, but Papa Panda, oh, Papa Panda doesn't have enough um, gas, so he's actually not really going to be able to build anything now that the spawning pool's gone. He's definitely can engage into this. The Banelings are going to connect. The Lings are just going to try and run away. And Eleven's got so many Lings, oh my god. Papa Panda never, he's not mining any gas, so Papa Panda cannot build anything right now except drones, overlords, and queens. And uh, they have very similar worker counts, but Eleven has a third base. It doesn't have that many drones, but it's going to. Yeah. You should take some time maybe and drone up. Well, I mean, he doesn't have to, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Although fighting up that ramp into that many roaches with only zerglings is ill-advised. I agree. I don't uh, think it's a very good call, but I also don't think Papa Panda moving out with those roaches would be very good either, right? Like, once the links get a full surround on him, I feel like... The trade, uh, the trade probably would be favorable for Papa Panda, but I think Eleven's just in a better position, and that he can kind of trade those links. Maybe not, not like all of them for like a baneling hit, kind of like what Papa Panda did. But y you know what I mean. Oh yeah. He's marching. I'm, I wasn't expecting a counter attack here from Papa Panda, or he's maybe he's just positioning some roaches uh, in that common pathway, but. See, what do we have for tech coming up on eleven? Nothing. Yeah, Papa Pan is double expanding, which definitely is a way to get back into the game. But he's about to get a bunch of links forced into his forced in. I don't know, at least to this third base here. Papa Panda gets the cancel. Eleven might think that that's the only base though. And Papa Panda might get away with this other base. Uh, no, Eleven's totally beelining for it. Eleven doesn't know it's there. Like, Eleven oh, hasn't seen he? it, but he knows it's there. You think so? He, but, like, he knew the other one because he had vision on it, which it's it's also been put back down, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> well, pa I think Papa Panda knows that he's behind, and he needs to start taking risks. But, yeah, see, because Eleven's just going up there. Like, he, yeah, I think that's he definitely true. Knows he must that. have known. Or at least he, right. he had a, like a very high, or like a very real guess that it was there. Now, fighting up a ramp is always very difficult here, but Papa Panda does have the defender's advantage and the numbers, so I think that eventually this is going to get pushed back. Eleven did build more units rather than drones, so I think we probably will see another push maybe when the plus one is finished, so sometime around now. Does... Uh, Oh, oh, Papa Panda's gonna take this Overlord. I, I, I really like that. I like when they, they deny vision with the Ravengers and then also uh, kill. Wow, that didn't buy. I thought it was gonna buy his own hatchery. Uh, but supply block. I like. I love. I love that. I love doing that with the Ravengers. I think that's an awesome use of if you can spare the APM. Oh, for sure. And it's actually pretty close here. TM, I suppose. Like not. It's not quite, because 11's had his bases up way longer. They have a relatively... Oh, no, 11 has 16 extra workers. I can't do math. I, I'm i the one that can't do arithmetic. Never mind. 11 is in a better position here. 56 is a bigger number than... 41, yeah. But for some reason, I thought it said 56 and 50, which, like, 6 is still not great, but it's not 16. You know, like, oh. 16 differences... Just I got pain. something else I was gonna talk about before. I don't like I don't like this model for the Ravagers that Eleven has. Did you ever you never played the first Dark Souls, eh? Uh, no, I did actually. I did play it. Oh, you did? Ra okay. Well, I, you I know when you get Switch. to. I think you told me to get it. Oh, uh, well, I w the only one I would have told you to get is the third one. But um, oh, okay. I mean, there's this part called Lost Isolith, and it's got like this really eye burning lava texture on it at least on like the original xbox 360 one yeah and that's exactly what these like little flames remind me of they are they're very intense uh actually yeah <laughs> uh unfortunate there papa panda ate a bunch of the ravenger shots but they're kind of posturing like if papa panda can hold this he does have the fourth base over 11 11's fourth base only kind of starting now 
But does Papa Panda have... Oh, and they have the same upgrades. Papa Panda's uh, hard bodies is almost finished. But 11's roach speed is almost finished. And plus 2 is starting. Oof. Fancy footwork from that life support ravager. <laughs> yeah, eh? Uh, Papa Panda building 28 lings. I'm assuming he's just going to, like, throw them across the map. That's going to be my guess. And, yeah, there we are. That's kind of Papa Panda's thing. Throw them oh, across the uh, map. Yeah. There's no spines in any of the bases, so as long as he doesn't get overwhelmed, I think he should be able to get canceled on his fourth. Take a quick look at it. So there's the fourth being attacked. Uh, 11 splitting up his army. Papa Panda maybe getting the best fight he's going to possibly get here. He's got to be careful about these biles as they come down. Moving out of the way. I think that little Ling flood on the fourth is just Papa Panda's way of saying like, "Get off my back," you know. Well, yeah, and now he's oh, now he's taking on a bunch of uh, twelve drones in the nat natural base of eleven. Oh my goodness! Papa Panda kind of reaching the gap a little bit here. His supply is still a little lower, but he has the uh, worker supply advantage. He's also splitting his army off though. Papa Panda has to be able to survive here. He just kind of ate those biles. I think it might be a little tricky to actually hold this off. Oops. There we go. This is what I want. Uh, I think he's going to have to give that fourth base up for sure and fight on top of the ramp. Eleven's two is like a... He, Eleven's not waiting for the plus two missile attack. He doesn't have very many spores to uh, defend. And he just lost his Roach War, in which he doesn't have another one building. So this is going to be the Roach amount of... Went, yeah. So, yeah, like Papa Pandas did, yeah. He doesn't oh, have another one. I think that hit. 11 might have finally done it here. It's looking that way. I mean, losing that Roach War, and that, it was doing all the heavy lifting on the side of Papa Panda. GG. And there, go, there goes GG gets called. 11 is the very fun games, guys. Thanks for inviting us to cast. Perfect. Uh, so, Maddie, anything that you want to say? Those are some great games from everybody. Uh, well, I mean, there's only two of them from both players. Really enjoyed casting with you guys, uh, particularly you, Jeff. Because you're <laughs> Thanks, the only man. one who's actually casting. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, we hope that you have a wonderful and